YouTube, man, what's going on? It's LNH back with another video. And today, I gotta be honest, this is shocking. Kyrie Walker is literally shocking everyone in the basketball community with what he just posted on his story. Now, if you take a look at this image right here and you read it, it shows Kyrie Walker's name in the right hand corner with a Rockets jersey. And clearly he is working out for the Rockets and obviously having these type of NBA workouts before he can actually make it to the league. Now, this is insane to me because so many people had criticized this dude and said he would have no chance to make it at the next level. And I don't want to see a bunch of comments in the comment section basically saying how they were rocking with Kyrie before for because honestly on all my videos I saw a ton of hate for this dude and people said he really could never make it to the next level now personally in my opinion I thought it would always be tough we all know and if you take a look at the facts at all obviously him not going to college and instead going to Chameleon BX was a very risky move at the time he didn't know if he would be playing and be able to actually play college basketball with everything going on or if the season would actually get shut down but there's a bunch of interesting facts about this story that a ton of people are not really noticing. Now, Kyrie Walker has honestly been hinting about this and been talking about it on his Twitter for a minute now, and I always keep you up to date with these, but obviously all of his Twitter, he's actually been dropping all of the teams that he said he had workouts with. And if you guys don't know, this was the Houston Rockets, Washington Wizards, and Detroit, and these are all gonna be in July. So we're gonna see a number of these images, most likely of him working out with these other teams. Now, I would love to see some footage of this but maybe we might not just be able to get our hands on that because they might not release it in my opinion they would only release it if they're super interested in this dude but it's definitely exciting to see that he's actually working out with these NBA teams because of again a lot of people didn't even think he would make it this far now in addition to this I think the most interesting thing about this story is maybe not only Kyrie Walker but someone that not a lot of people talk about and I've mentioned it once in a while on my channel before and that's Marjan Beauchamp now Marjan Beauchamp Bochamp was actually a teammate of Kyrie Walker who went to this Chameleon BX which you guys if you don't know is a training facility for you to prepare for the NBA draft and obviously not go to college and not go any alternative other route besides just training and working on your game to try to make you NBA ready. Now Marjan Bochamp in my opinion the headlines that have been coming out about this dude are insane and I just want to read a couple of them real quick. Now Marjan Bochamp has been dropping a crazy amount of points but even if we take a look at this tweet right here it says this dude dropped 50 points shooting 15 of 28 and that is insane. Of course he is currently playing at a Juco right now but what does this say about Kyrie Walker? How can we interpret this? And even in another game Marjan Bochamp I believe dropped around 40 points so this dude has been going crazy at this juco school now what does this say about Kyrie walker well it says that chameleon bx is clearly doing something right and there was a big focus at this training facility on your mind and getting mentally prepared for the next level and building that mental toughness now Kyrie walker has posted a couple of pictures of him working out at chameleon bx wherever they are outside and if you even take a look at some of these which i'll make sure to include you could see how hard this dude is working he looks like he's getting killed out there because they're putting in so much work and they're training his mind. And I think that's very important in the game of basketball that a lot of people overlook. I mean, Kyrie Walker is the same age as all these other top recruits. He's been putting in work for a while now. And although he took an alternative route, what could happen? A lot of people have been doubting him for a very long time. And definitely people like Jalen Green do not get this type of hate and criticism. But I think Kyrie Walker continually being able to put in so much work and keep his mind at ease not listen to the haters and make sure he works on his game continually day after day to try to get to the next level is why he'll be successful for sure it's one thing to have the athletic ability the talent but we see it all the time now and I always say it even with a lot of the younger recruits man if you're not aggressive and able to take every opportunity that you want to get to the next level it's not gonna happen you really have to go for it and I think that's what Kyrie Walker has been doing even though he took this other route man maybe more people are gonna start go in this route because if Marjan Bochamp is dropping 40 50 point games at Juco and even though it's Juco it's still basketball he's dropping those number of points 
from going from Chameleon BX back to college basketball, that's pretty impressive. So I only wonder how good Kyrie Walker is as of right now. He's probably going to be killing on the court. And even if this dude did go back to college, but obviously is highly unlikely right now, that's almost 100% not happening. I would say he would kill if he did go back to college, just with the way Marjan Bochamp is coming out crazy hot. He's killing everyone in that Juco league. But man, I'm curious, what do you guys think about this situation, man? Kyrie Walker, of course, has been hinting at that he's going to be working out with these teams. And he honestly has been on Twitter, been putting out a number of different tweets, basically encouraging himself, showing out his footage, what he's been working on on his game, saying things are a month away because, of course, what's coming up soon? The NBA draft. So it's going to be very interesting to see what this dude actually does do in the future. But I'm curious, do you guys think I missed anything about this story? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys think this dude is really NBA. NBA ready or am I just gassing it? Do you think he's not that good? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm very curious. Now, what this reminds me of as well is, of course, Jalen Green maybe end up going to the Rockets. So him and Kyrie Walker could end up on the same roster, which in my opinion would be insane. It's like a full circle coming back together because, of course, they played in high school a number of times. But Kyrie went up against the best competition. So that's why I think he's really ready to get back in that spotlight and play with the best of them. Because, of course, everyone's waiting on this dude. We haven't seen him in such a long time. Now, on the other hand, I want to talk about this because this is insane as well. You guys know the Ball Brothers by now. I used to cover them on my channel a ton back in the day, but they're in the NBA now. They pretty much made it, except Jello, of course. We are still waiting on what's going on with this dude. Now, a new report has just come out stating that the Ball Brothers are actually expected to team up in the Drew League this summer. Now, this is going to be insane in my opinion because, of course, we haven't seen them play together in a while. Of course, at Chino Hills and in AU at one point, these dudes were going crazy. Of course, LaMelo Ball dropping crazy number of buckets, 92 points at one point. And he was just honestly, in my opinion, one of the most impressive scorers in high school basketball. But, of course, a lot of people criticized him back in the day as well for cherry picking doing all that other stuff on the basketball court and not really playing the type of basketball that you would have to play at the next level in the nba but in my opinion i think it's gonna be great to see all three brothers back on the court again and of course a lot of people are still wondering where is jello gonna end up going this dude has honestly been in the news in the spotlight for a minute now of course his two other brothers are in the league right now and they're doing very well and we're just waiting on jello to make it. of course jello actually was playing for detroit at one point and a lot of people have even been hinting at him going and playing for charlotte and teaming up with Lamelo. but who knows at this point i just hope this guy can make it to the NBA. he seems like a really good player and although he's made mistakes in his past you guys know what happened with this dude before i think he still has a shot to make it but definitely i would say jello's build is one where it's almost a football player instead of a basketball player type of build but he looks like he's put on some more muscle and slimmed down so hopefully he can make it to the league and end up maybe even playing with one of his brothers in the future or even both of them if that does happen but i'm curious what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below first and foremost about Kyrie. man is Kyrie going to the rockets he has a couple more workouts like i stated does this dude really have a shot at playing at the nba level or does he not let me know in the comments down below as well as talk about jello jello is another recruit who's trying to make it to the league you guys think this dude could really hoop is he actually nice or is he just overrated just has that ball name and really can't play the game of basketball and is not built for the NBA. Let me know your opinion down below. And if you think I missed anything in this video, man, I appreciate all the support that we've been getting on the channel, man. And please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It is free and I appreciate it. And it can make sure that I continue to get, get keep getting out this content for you guys. And I enjoy making these videos, man. And make sure to leave any video suggestions you do have in the comments down below. I always take a look at them like I always say. All right, it's LNH and I'm out.